Yesterday's gone. It's still today, but it's yesterday. Well, we're just talking about yesterday as if, you know, the market's closed, so that was yesterday's news. But here we are back, old guy, young guy, for the last segment of April 1st, April Fool's Day. Happy April Fool's Day to all of you out Happy there. Happy April Fool. We hope the market didn't fool you. We hope it's not an April Fool's joke. But that was yesterday. You know, we've had three Tuesdays of near 400 performance, and uh, you saw what happened the last two. So uh, you, you have to be wary in this market. Uh, the big question is, what's next? And that's what we're going to talk about. But before we talk about what's next, to, to just put today in perspective, let's look at yesterday. Let's look at the past. And I think there's uh, one way to describe the Let past. us now reminisce. Let's take you back. I'm going to make this really simple. And go back, close your eyes, and return to the past. And what do you see? I'll tell you what I see. I see bubbles. <laughs> bubbles. I wish I had a little Don Ho. A little Don Ho, a little tiny, tiny bubbles. bubbles. In the air. So I see bubbles. You know, I, I see Alan Greenspan and his bubble machine. I see the Alan 1% Green. interest rates. I see housing market going straight up, I see the stock market going straight up, I see interest rates at 1%, I see all these bubbles, I see all this money going out there, all this leveraging, I see people borrowing money from their homes, spending it on fancy cars, fancy vacations, upgrades uh, to the jewelry collection. I see all this wonderful money floating around because of Mr. Greenspan's tiny bubbles. And unfortunately, the consumer is 70% of our economy. So in order to have these tiny bubbles, we need the support of the consumer, is what you're saying. If the consumer backtracks, uh, they backtrack and affect 70% of our GDP, our gross domestic product. And these 20s here that you see might turn into $5 bills. Instead Ooh. of buying the, the good stuff... They so what will happen to the tiny bubbles if the 20s turn to 5s? Well, the tiny bubbles will uh, be bursting all over the place, and, uh, and, and whenever a bubble bursts, a little less money is spent. And, uh, and as less money is spent, there's a uh, problem. Uh, and you, you, you don't need a fortune teller to tell you that uh, less money means less profits for corporate America. And if there are less profits, then there's less you know, the stock prices aren't going to hold up. Uh, and uh, I'm not saying that the, the, the bubbles are over or, or done or whatever, but it's like, it's hard to believe that the market, which is down 15%, is, is done going down. Because in every last recession, the markets drop more than 20%, other than, I think, one in 1961. But if every time it's happened, it's been down to 20%. And if Ben is talking depression, and if Alan Greenspan saying this is the worst he's ever seen, and if, uh, if the President Bush is, is saying this is the worst he's ever seen, and if, if Hank Paulson, I mean, everybody's using the depression word, and yet the stock market only drops 15%, I would be a little skeptical. I'll tell you what to watch for. And some of the things are starting to happen uh, to, to bring the bubble, uh, to bring the end of this bubble, which is uh, basically when you review all the bubbles, you know, you've heard about, how many bubbles have you heard up there? Uh, just all of Don Ho's. Don's hose? What, are you, what do you the got Don's hose, over there? tiny I, bubbles. Do you ever stop thinking about? All right, get and, back. It, it seems that uh, we, we, what we got to watch here is, is, is what's going to happen with the real bubble. And the real bubble is a spending bubble. If, if, if the consumer is 70% of the economy, then the only thing that's really created uh, to drop, what's really driven the economy is all the spending that's going on, that the consumer has done. The consumer has gone crazy buying houses, buying cars, buying uh, upscale clothing and, and vacations. So all of these industries uh, at restaurants, going out to eat at the fancy restaurants, all of these businesses that the consumer was, was spending on uh, in a big way are, are dropping dramatically. You have the, uh, you have cars, uh, car sales were down dramatically today. In, in a market that's down, that's up 400 points, you show, they, they come out with horrible car sales. Manufacturing, even though it's better than expected, is still on the negative. Uh, 
you've got home prices and, and dropping still. Everything is still on the down slide. So what we really need to see is a little more, uh, a little more money out there for the consumer. They need to get, I mean, they were tapping their house for equity loans. And uh, if, if the housing market doesn't turn around, obviously the consumer is going to have a difficult time turning around. Commodity prices are up way too high, and, and there's a ton of pricing going on. Is there a bubble in commodities as well, or but, are, are but, we done with it? But uh, the, there, there appears to be a bubble in commodities, and uh, uh, in the last week, commodities have dropped quite a bit. I think gold dropped $35 today. Wheat's dropping, soybeans are plummeting. So you've got, uh, uh, it, it seems like we, we might be at the end of this ridiculous speculative cycle of driving up food prices. Oil has been dropping. Uh, uh, oil dropped from uh, $110 to almost $100 today. Uh, and, uh, so does that mean my gasoline bill is going to go to zero soon? Uh, it's going to start getting closer to zero, yeah, than it is now. I'm ready to fill up. Don't fill up yet. It's, well, it stops dropping. <laughs> but, uh, well, if you get a hot date, though, I mean, fill up if you have to. I, Absolutely. I, I don't want to see you deprive yourself. Of, there are priorities uh, in life. The things that are on your mind all the time. That's right. But, uh, I mean, you know, if the, if the price of oil starts dropping, which it looks like it's starting to, that's a good sign for the consumer. If the price of food starts dropping a little bit, that's going to be great for the consumer. And, 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 but, the, but the biggest thing is going to be the home price. Uh, as soon as the home prices uh, start looking like they're getting close to a bottom and starting to turn back up, I think that will, will definitely signify that we've, we've readied the consumer uh, to, 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 to start uh, improving, on, on increasing his spending rather than decreasing. But uh, until that starts looking at least closer or more imminent, uh, I, I just don't think that uh, I just don't think that we could get too excited. Uh, if you think about the way things have been in the past, I mean, we just went through a, a recovery from 2003 to 2007 where money was just flying all over the place. I mean, everybody had money. I, I have never seen. I mean, everybody in my neighborhood. Uh, was, was buying a, a new car. I, I saw more new cars every year than I've ever seen before. I would drive down the street. I, would say, I mean, I've never seen so many new Mercedes and Beamers and, and uh, Lexuses in my life. I mean, everybody was just, just going crazy. And it's starting to slow down. And uh, uh, as that money is, 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 is pulled out of the system, I think that we're, we're, there's still another shoe to fall. I think that... Uh, Watching these indicators, I, I'm not saying it, we have not bought them. It's possible we've bought them, but I think it's kind of like in blackjack. If you if you have a, if you have a six in blackjack, you play blackjack? No, no, no. If you have a six and the dealer has a six, that's why I still have some money left. Not a lot, but some. Well, if you have a six and the dealer has a six, would you think you would have a better chance to win that hand? No. Okay. Well, you know, I. I your luck's been that bad. <laughs> These ladies are really we're, we're talking destroying gambling here. your whole vision of the world. You've lost all out there. Bill Gross, I mean, if he was playing uh, blackjack, which is his one of his favorite games, if Bill Gross was playing jack blackjack, and he had a six, and the dealer had a six, he'd tell you that you had a much better chance to win than him than if the dealer had a ten and you had a six. So all I'm saying is, right now, I, I'm not sure the dealer uh, has a six or a ten. But I think it's somewhere in between a 6 and a 10. And I'm not even sure what the consumer has, but I think the consumer has between a 6 and a 10. So we're going to have to watch that. And uh, So is the market going to continue going up, up and away? The market is uh, going to be churning as it has been for the last couple of months. And I think that uh, it will continue to churn until we start seeing these indicators that drive the consumer's uh, performance, uh, uh, ability to spend. And we're going to watch that for you. Uh, young guy and, and me, the old guy, we, uh, like I said, we don't have a lot to do, so we watch this stuff really closely. We know most of you guys have full-time jobs. So uh, keep watching us. Stay tuned. And uh, we'll watch these indicators for you. We'll tell you when the consumer's coming back. And we'll tell you when it's time to get back in the market. But remember, yesterday was yesterday. You got the 400 points, I hope, but don't start putting all your money in the market yet. Have a good one. Good night, young guy.